G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We're back in our Millionaire series, trying to get a million dollars as quickly as possible and we're coming in to day 26. We're doing okay, doing better than I thought we'd be doing by the mid-20s. We're up to just shy of 150,000, so we're into the double digits of our percentage. We're into the six figures of sheer dollar dues, which is pretty bloody good when you consider how much of a Muppet I actually am. But I'm coming back and I have some grand plans for today. Yesterday was trading restock day and I really only hit, well, four traders actually because I found an easy extra one all the way out here. I might even mark you like this because you are a tradie after all. In fact, you're my favorite trader at the moment because you sold me the schematic for my pipe bomb. So today, I want to go out. I want to go see Jen because I always have to see Jen lest she forget about me. I'm not memorable to start with, so need to try and remind her all the time so I'm not lost to the wayside. But I'll go see her and I'll see these two tradies because I still need to get myself my um my corn seed recipe and even like some more headlights or some mushrooms or whatever because these guys are taking eight years to grow. Overnight, I didn't make myself. All my mods are done too. Made myself a better steel pickaxe. So that's a real good time. Plus a bunch of pipe bombs. There is the morning chime. You're still cranking out good gubs to sell. Our little production line here is working up nicely. It's coming up a treat. Now that I have it, I'm not sure what I made the ergonomic grip mod for. Was it for potentially like my knife that I want to sell? I have a tier six hunting knife in here. Like, yeah, that's where the grip would go, but I just realized that the mods that are in my uh, steel pickaxe now won't actually fill up all the slots available to me on the tier 5. So I guess that's going to go in there. That seems like a pretty worthwhile investment of a mod slot to me. You can go into the sellables box. In fact, give me both of you because I specifically made that um, sort of shotgun mod for that blunderbuss in you go but i also made did a bit of research the retractable stock mods also go into the tier 6 blundies i still need to find out what the last mod i can put into a tier 6 blundy is going to be but with all that there look at that two and a half thousand dollar it is for a freaking blunderbuss anything tier 6 stacked full of mods is worth so much money so it's worth it in the long run i'll just wait for you to be done so i can put you into that one to get adventuring on with my day I think I might even. We'll see what uh what missions the traders have for me. It might be like a relatively decent mission for me. But otherwise, I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for a decent raid. Might go open up the trading route down there as well. The more traders I have, the better. Look how good all of my sellables box is looking now. There's lots of tier sixes that are now chock a block full of mods, so you're completely full, worth two and a half for some padded leg armor. Um, you're, you're completely full as well for three grand. I'm looking for another impact racing mod because I can't make them for myself at the moment. I really wish I could just for when I find booties. You're full three grand. You're full three grand. So I'm really... There's tens of thousands of dollar dues to be made when I do finally go and sell. And that's without any of the perks running as well. Speaking of perks, I'll grab you just in case I find something good. Take some dollar dues in case there's something else worth buying. Uh, how is my farm looking before I go? You're still growing. You're grown. Anything that's fully grown, I'll smack down so I've got all the things I need for later. You're grown. You're grown. You're grown. You're all bloody grown. All I'm waiting for is my freaking mushrooms to sprout, but instead, all my other crops are up and at them. I hear the sound of a beating mop. How are you? Slice and dice it with my machete that's purely there for harvesting rotten corpses, so... Pretty much bang on for his job description, I suppose. All right, on with our day. Jump into you. I've got half a tank of fuel on me, but there's more than enough stored in the storage, so we're okay then. Swing her around and head off out to Trader Jen into the sunrise, because she's beautiful like a sunrise. Jenny girl, I'm coming to pay you a visit. Put the kettle on, love. I really enjoy when people point out that I try not to use like exploits and glitches too egregiously in a lot of the series. Like I don't make killing corridors proper anymore because it's just too easy like it's exploited the game to, to the point where it's not a challenge anymore so i'll try to avoid that that people rightly point out that i say that then immediately go haha gyrocopter glitch go burr and i just fly across the world with no dramas whatsoever i'm aware of the hypocrisy i never claimed i wasn't a hypocrite i just like it you know flying for free it's the best who doesn't want to do that hey there 
Jenny girl with a pretty face and a dump truck ass. Oh, shit. Oh, I was thinking about your booty and I stacked my gyro. Um, that might take some fan dangling to get that out of there. Jen, I hope you weren't anticipating me being able to handle anything like that because I clearly can't. If you were, you're going to be severely let down. Nothing in your vending machine. That's not what I'm here for. Another stranger in need. Oh, I you got what you're looking for. You forgot about me. You called me a stranger. You could have ridiculed me with abuse and I wouldn't have heard as much as that. I'll put my flame and chlamydia stick away because clearly you're not interested in it. I'll hold. I'll go get my magnum. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Give you time to flick through your bloody photo albums and remember who the dick I am, Jen. That hurt, Jen. That hurt me deep down inside. I thought we had a thing. I thought we were friends. I thought we were more than friends. I thought we were going to escape together and go have picnics in the sunshine. But nah. You just took my hopes and dreams and shat all over them. Nah, still a stranger. Not even worth talking to anymore. I see how it is, Jen. I see how it bloody is. Ah, <sighs> well, if I was hoping for a good deal and for you to have anything worthwhile for me, I think I'm um barking up the wrong tree. You got duct tape, you got glue. They're pretty expensive, not worth using my awesome sauce on. I was actually going to hope you could have more awesome sauce because that's where you usually sell me. <sighs> nothing this time. Nothing at all. Up on medical supplies. There's a zombie apocalypse out there. Do you have any burn cream? Because I need to stock up on that. Give it up until I come to you. You ravage my feelings. You do have a book. Increases the technique to increase speed with access by 5%. That's kind of like a long lasting one. Actually kind of useful. That's a little bit tempting. Uh, what else are you offering me? You're offering me a stun button up there, which, um, <laughs> talk about adding insult to injury. Anything else? Not really. Well, this was, this was a if waste of a trip. extra medicine out there, I'll buy it off of you for a discount. This is a waste of a trip, Jen. I came all this way to come see my girl, and she savaged me, she ravaged me, and then sold me nothing. This is a, this is a blowout. This was completely awful. And now I can't even get my gyrocopter out of here because I shit I'm shit at flying. So I'm heading back due west to go and find um, that trading. In fact, I need to head a little bit more to the north, right about there, through that gully. Well, that's right, Valley even looks like the right way to go. Uh, and then I'll head further south, go see other trade wrecks down in the southern town, and then do the opening trader quest route that's well further down there. I think it's another Trader Bob from memory, so I'm not expecting too much out of it, but hopefully one of these guys will have something decent. It's weird. I mean, if I hadn't have spent uh, the last half of yesterday uh, raiding the cathedral, I could have done all the traders in one day. But having an entire day of just road tripping it down the bloody Silk Road to go and do a bunch of trade, like we're the freaking merchants of Venice, doesn't really sound like a particularly exciting time. Um, both for me and for you. So I need to break it off for my own sake by going and murdering some zombies in between. Plus, I thought there was going to be books in that cathedral. Then turns out there wasn't and all the shelves were empty. Which is a bit disappointing, I'm not going to lie. I just really want... I've got the, the pipe bomb schematic now and I've made a bunch of pipe bombs. I think I just need the, the corn seed recipe, which I know I could get by upgrading living off the land. But it's a skill point and skill points are heckin' valuable. In fact, at some point, maybe even buying the um the forgetting elixir and respecking so some of the wasted points, like on sledgehammers and things, I can redo. That might be worthwhile. But that's gonna be like a twenty thousand dollar investment, and I'm um I'm already spending cash far more than I should. I don't think I should be doing that. In fact, what I would love if I ever had the opportunity. Oh, um, what? <laughs> what? Uh, you you right? Okay, well, I'm not going to second guess the game. It's it's calling me. It's luring me. It's definitely trying to lure me to my death, but I'm kind of curious. You don't often see a random phantom plume out there for no bloody reason. So, Trader Bob, I'll be back in a jiffy, Sunny Jim. I just need to go investigate some auroras. Something supernatural is going down over here, and I want to have a bit of a boomerang at it. I'll be right bloody back. Where do you think it is, though? I'm hoping, like, flying over the top, it'll, like, spawn back in again and show me its location. The only problem is, though, I'm flying into the, the fire biome, which means my visibility is about the length of my dick, which means I can see nothing at all. Uh, well, this might be interesting. This might all be a hoax. Where the shit is it going? Don't go into the trees, though, because you'll bonk yourself around like a bloody pinball. I'm heading straight to where I saw it. Where the hell is it? 
Nah, I don't think it was this far out. I think I've been made a larrikin of. I think I've been sent down the garden path up that well-known creek with significantly less paddles than I need. All right, we'll do you back up and we'll head back home. Trady Bob and coming back for you, lad. That was rude. That was rude. How dare you tease me with the possibility of a cheeky airdrop and then give me nothing. But I have an optical illusions out here. God, I either need to drink something or eat something or sit on something because I'm just having a bit of a time. I need to find my last comfort couch, plonk myself down and have a nap. It's nice to know that with landing, I can get kind of close. As soon as my front wheel touches the ground, I can just yeet myself out of the chopper. And that's the way to land because it stops dead in its tracks every time you do that. And you don't have to worry about it anymore. I will take your loot and candle while I close the bloody door behind me. Just good manners, I suppose. Oh, you have another insulated liner mod, which, I mean, which is actually, so insulated liner mod doesn't cancel out the cooling mesh. You can put them both in. So, okay. I'll see if you have anything else before I, oh, we've got some ammo maker materials as well, which I do kind of need. Uh, generator bank, I don't need that. Someone's beaten on the walls. I'll get that in a second, lad. Don't you worry about it. Couple of candles I do kind of want because I want to put some like some floor candles up the top where my farm is that may turn into a gyro pad. I guess we'll see. Not much else around there. Although you did have a lot of short iron pipes, but they're pretty expensive. What about in your secret stash? No. Ooh. Got a couple of books that might come in handy. That might come in handy. It's relatively cheap as well. Grenade schematic, frothy schematic, mm, not much else. I think it's worth, it's not worth the awesome source. We'll go here, we'll use you. Got my XP gogs on, so we're fine there. Have a quick chat and I'll buy the gunpowder. I'll buy the insulated liner mod, I'll buy the casings and the bullet tips. And if you have any buckshot, you do not. You got a bark it though. No headlights either. Anything else around that's going to tickle me fancy at all? Fuck it. I'll buy the candles. It's 500 bucks, but we'll come in handy. I know I can get them for free, for free from POIs, but I don't know where to track them down from. And that should just about do it, I think. Yep. Okay. Nice. I will also grab the book. Thank you. And... Nah, I don't need repair kits. We don't need repair kits just yet. We're doing just fine. Gratitude. Nice. And Gratitude to you too. If I do have any fun him. jobs around... They're all a million miles away, but they're all fetched and clears. That's the closest I'm one. Waterworks, no. What I'd love is if you'd send I me to a pawn shop or something. Great. What's that? Where's that one? Again. Down next to the other trader. Well, I'm heading there anyway. May as well have a squeeze what I can do. But speaking of things I can do. How you doing, Mo? Oh, right through the face. The Magnum is pretty bang average a lot of the time, but occasionally for the random map, it's pretty good. I'm on the lookout for any interesting POIs. This is actually a pretty bloody big town down here. Did I make it all the way down here on the bloody bike? Yeah, I must have because I followed the road. That's a heckin' bloody long ride. Good job me making it all the way here. I am really looking out for some like pawn shops or something like that because they're really good loot for not a lot of effort and could definitely be done on one uh, looting candy more than anything else. I hate having... Ooh, actually there's a greenhouse right across the road. And then that's the POI that my, my quest is at? Okay, doesn't seem too much of an ask at all. I'll go and have a gander through, but real quick... Oh, look at that landing. Trailer wreck, you see that shit? See how grand I am? Bask in my glory. Nothing good in his vendo. Oh, I didn't read that book yet. Quickly read you. We must be getting close to having that one done. Uh, which one was it? It was automatic weapons. I'm not even close to having that, done, that one done. I lied. I should really keep track of which ones are like sixes out of seven. I find the book. I probably seen a couple of these around. Although I usually buy any extra books I see. All right, we're fine. We're good. All right, bud, how are you? Hey, jackass, can I lighten that backpack up for you? You know what? Listen, you're never a pleasure to talk to. That's not even the most savage thing anyone said to me today. You're still not, you're even the, you're not even the best at being the dickest. Jen tore my heart out before. All you're doing now is just being a tryhard. You'll never be as brutal as Jen just was to me. You've got not a lot of gunpowder. You do have some bullet tips. So gunpowder is really what I'm after to make myself some more um, pipe bombs. Uh, nothing else, really. Well, you are consistently a letdown. Your twin up north was far better than you'll ever be. 
Lucky gold, significantly worse than my current one, so never mind. What's in your secret stash? Sawn off shotgun mod. Couple of trucks. An archery book. I'll buy you just because I don't usually buy the books. Uh, nothing else there. And marks for alpha schematic. Don't need that. And another auger. That's dog shit. That's, that's, that's nothing. There's nothing bloody here. Well, alright. Yeah, hey, cha-ching to you buddy. too. I'll read you. Go and murder whoever's outside. Or even, you know what? Here, come here. Make your way inside. I've got some fresh meat in here for you to have a, have a sizzle on. Here you go. Here you go. Nice. Close that behind me. No, get in. Come on. Listen. I'm trying to give you a bloody smorgasbord. Look at that bastard in there. You could spend six years eating him. Never go hungry. And you look like you need a meal. There. There you go. All right. I'm going to go do my job real quick. I'll come back and see if you've golded up in a second. So this was the job I needed to do for uh, Trader Bob up north. Looks pretty doable, I think. Let's just go like that. Oh, it's only a tier three clear. Nah, I'm not doing it then. I'm not doing it. I thought it was like a, a tier four fetch and clear. I must have clicked the, the wrong one. I don't think there was any tier three clears in there. Maybe I just completely missaw it, misread it and made a fool of myself, which wouldn't be completely surprising if you know anything about me. Scrap you. I am just gonna raid this greenhouse real quick though, because there's usually something pretty good up the top. At least a, um, like a reinforced chest. I can get through here nice and quick. So I may as well just take the freebie, because the baseball bat, has you all covered, send you flying, hit you in your soul, and then take your other soul. Look at this though. How could you not love the baseball bat when it's taken fucking names? Now that I've successfully harvested all of the zombies in here, I can go ahead and harvest the plants too. Got some spuds, appreciate that. Got some yucca as well, take all of you. Nice, Gary. Ooh, also some extra gubs in the kitchen. Nothing there. Ooh, a cheeky cough. Don't mind if I do. I probably should even break these down to get all the electrical parts and stuff. Oh, no! You cock-teasing motherfucker. You cock-teasing motherfucker. I thought that was the corn seed recipe and I was about to whip out the old spaghetti stick and have a right old party, get nude and turn about like I'm doing the freaking naked hokey pokey. It was the wrong one. It was the wrong one. It was the freaking corn of the cob recipe. The food, not the seed. Oh, you almost got me there. You almost got me there, you cock shammy. Oh, man. My heart rate's like 120 right now. I don't think it's going down anytime soon. Make sure our loot and goggles are on. Quickly break that glass. In fact, is there another piece of glass? There we go. Glass is so true. I mean, you need glass to be transparent, I get it, but you can't even bloody see it when you're standing smooshing your nose across it and leaving a booger trail like you're a freaking snail. Anything in you? Uh, a little bit there. Got a couple bits of ammo as well, which I appreciate. Always check for the sneaky ammo pile. Scrap you, take the shotgun rounds. I mean, it's not much in the greenhouse, but it's something better than nothing. Don't need rotten Vegemite Sangers. And last but not least, ooh, a shotgun. Which I'm not going to scrap for parts, actually, because it's a tier 3 and should actually be worth quite a bit of coin. But this place is now done and dusted. I'm not going to bother doing that quest. It's only a tier 3 and it's only a, um, a clear. So not really worth my time or energy or ammo. So instead, I'm going to get up and get out and get going. And go open up this other trader route. And who knows what he might give me? Maybe even something better. Actually, what I might do, I'll open up my quest and get rid of that tier three entirely. Oh, actually, and I'll track my opening trade routes so that I know. <gasps> ah! oh, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm falling back to earth, but I'm strapped into my gyro at the very least. I don't even give a shit. I can crash into a tree or a building all the ground. Oh, use the little iron blocks as I ramp back up into the sky. We almost binned it. We tapped E, the forbidden E key. We fucking did it again. You great galah. Strap yourself in with a seatbelt because you can't be trusted not to almost kill yourself. Oh my God. That was almost it. That was awful. Oh, it wasn't a tradie uh, Bob at all. It was a tradie Joel. So I'm all about it. We'll go straight nosedive to land on the road out the front. Just about... There, there we go. Easy as you like, Bobby boy. The sun has come out and the world has got a little brighter. I'm going to assume it's because you are now a part of my life again. Uh, sugar butts, I'll not take you. 
I definitely had money though, didn't I? I did have money. I just stored everything in here and completely forgot about it. So take you with me. Take you with me just in case. I'm about to buy some extra sugar bites anyway. So don't need to grab those. Grab that one. And that's all I need out of you. Alrighty, righty What's in this? Just some painkillers. You're a working workbench. Destroyed cement mixer. With just a bunch of sand. All right. Fair enough then. And an anvil. All right, nice. I'll actually just scrap you right now just for the extra 150 iron. I could take you home and try and smelt it for like slightly more, but that's not really my game plan. Loot and gogs on. Check your bookshelf. Bar brawling volume six. That should be another series getting relatively close to being done and dusted as well. Cheeky extra 140. Thank you very much. But more importantly, what do you have to sell me? I came all this way, so make it worth my while. A bee's dick of gunpowder. Some bullet tips. Gunpowder that seems to be in short supply all over the place. No one seems to have any. All he does have, though, in his secret stash. He's got basically nothing in his regular inventory, but he does have Automatic Weapons Volume 6. He's got Batter Up Volume 5. Tech Junkie 1. Wow, those are a fair few books. Oh, and Unamine Volume 6 as well. Take less damage from being a Muppet in a mine. So there are actually some books I wouldn't mind, and they're 700 bucks a pop. Well, there's always I think it's worth the, the sugar butts. I don't think it's worth the awesome sauce. The awesome sauce is my last one, so I need to hold on to that like my life depends on it. I will buy you, and I will buy you. You didn't have any casings, did you? No. Did you have any headlights? No. Uh, quickly went to here then. I really only think it was those books that were worth buying. Nothing else in here is really getting me excited at all. Take those ones. Don't need SMG schematic, but we'll take that one as well. Always good finding four books I haven't read before. And that'll do. That'll do, Very pig, like you're a freaking porcupine who's just rounded up a bunch of sheep. Uh, XP Gogs on. Read you. Read you. No fanfares. That's all right, though. How are we looking? Two more to go on that one. Art of Mining only has one more to go as well. Then I have a chance to one-shot a bunch of ore. Actually, I forgot I can craft basic resources into stacks. That's basically like a gold mine of getting XP. Because you can crack, uh, you can crack, you can craft a stack of whatever. And each, like, so each time you craft a stack, you get a uh, half the amount of, experience of the experience as one before. But it's still like 20,000 experience. So like stone and wood and stuff like that. That's going to be worth a lot of money. In fact, I have a stack of iron at home ready and waiting to go. Then you just unstack it and do it again. This is free experience. So I'll go do that in a second. Should probably also check to see if you have any jobs nearby. You've got one just down the road. In fact, you've got one not too far away for a fetch and clear. Fucking waterworks is as well. I don't want to do waterworks as anymore. Anymore, even. Old shooter. Fetch and clear, what are you? you Another you fucking waterwork. Stop it! Rather than doing a job for tradie, I think instead I'm gonna quickly duck over here, break down this car, check the secret stash that is just up in the roof there with probably a zombie guard in it. Hello? Yep. There you go. There you go. And there you really go. Nice. Uh, Luton Gog's on. Check you. A cheeky repair kit. Needed one of those. Uh, we'll repair the bone. It needs it the most at the moment. And then quickly break down this as well. Just take all the extra gubs we can. And yeah, I think I'll see if there's any POIs worth raiding in this town. And if there's not, I'll just um duck back up north, go back home, and start crafting some stacks of stuff. If I need that extra skill point, both either for better barter, but also for um like explosives and stuff, crafting a whole bunch of stacks of shit, nothing really worthwhile in there. A whole bunch of stacks of stuff, it's just easy money. Clean out all my inventory, and in fact, while I'm here and sitting outside a pier where it's actually relatively easy to raid, I might have a quicker just bang through here and grab the gubs that I can. Like, the shotgun's gonna make pretty easy work of whoever is waiting for me, if I even bloody need it. One Chels a shotgun does not deserve. Sorry, not a Chels, a Nance. Oh, look at you, you sprightly fuck. Who needs legs when you can fly? Missed it completely on the second attempt as well. Ooh, you cheeky bitch. I shot you in the throat. I thought it was in the jaw, but apparently my aim ain't that good. There's no bookshelves here again. Damn it, come on. I'm slaughtering zombies. I'm gonna slaughter some pages as well. Just for future Josh's sake, I will open up this real quick. But that was silly. Could have just gone and knocked open those blocks because that is like the main loot room 
in there. It's where you drop down and potentially get stuck in a death trap. So just make sure that's nice and open for me. And I don't get barricaded in with a bunch of zombies that want to eat me. Scrap you. This is kind of like the downside of wanting to take most of the stuff I find is that I just run out of inventory space so quickly. And even now that I have max inventory slots, I'm taking everything. You know, there is no limit to all the things that I want. So I've run out of space too fucking fast. Just like you lost your noggin too buddy fast. Happy to oblige your dreams of leaving this ethereal plane though. Anything in here? Oh, tier six armor. Always a good thing to find. Finding that is like finding a stack of like three and a half thousand dollars. It's just money and I'm happy to get it. So this is the bit here where normally you drop down here and be in a world of hurt, but I've opened up the side just here so I can wake him up. If I do get into a bit of trouble, I didn't kill you. I can just kind of boot scoop my baby back out of there like it's driving me crazy. Oh, missed it. And then got the double up. Bonds are might level up, which means I can now buy this one without really thinking about it. Thank you very much. And that now gives me, so I've bought that with my XP goggles on, which gives me the extra leveling intellect. So if I swap those over, I still have, it's back down to tier four. So I have access to two um, uh, secret stashes again, which is always the dream. I'll go back and check Trader Potato next door, see what else is stashing in his secret stash. Probably shouldn't have scrapped that football helmet, but too late now. That's good. That's good. I still have all the levels to make when I get back home as well. We're making all the stacks. I'm annoyed that I forgot that I could do that because that's going to be so bloody valuable. Speaking of valuable, ha, valuable loot. Always check the smaller things first. Medical supplies, just some steroids. Don't need those. We could potentially sell you for a little bit of coin. Take all of that. Now, the best thing as well about that uh, maximal better barter now is that when I sell stuff, some frothy, some honey, don't mind if I do. When I sell stuff, like all of this stuff, um, that's not bad, actually. I am going to end up, you already have a mod in you, so you can go into that one, I suppose. There you go. When I sell stuff later, everything is worth more money now. Even without like all the extra perks and things, everything is more valuable. So that's always a really good thing. Bust our way out of here. Go and see Trady across the road. I'll be even more persuasive than I was before. Put all of you into there. Right. Oh wait, I need money. But if you've got something good in your secret stash, now is the time to tell me. Take both of those just in case. Because I'm very curious what you might have to offer now that I'm as schmoozy as you get. Your money is welcome here. Am I welcome here too, or just my money? Speaking of, super secret stash, max level secret stash, solar bank, marks and rifle schematic, uh, some good stuff. Night Stalker book, mm, oh, tempting, but not super tempting. I don't think I'm close on that series. And a batter up book. I mean, it's not actually gonna help me, I'm not wearing like the, the leather jacket. Uh, at all, so that's less exciting, but it's still the book of a series that helps me, so... Okay, I'll take you, take thank you, read you, how close might have been done with that one. One more book to go, and then power attacks are killing me will refill my stamina bar. Fuck yes. Oh, holy shit, I was just taken off thinking I'll have a little skirt around the, um, the town and see what's available. Not that I can see dick anyway, because the weather's rolled in, but there's a cathedral just there. That's always good to know. I'll fly over the top of it so it's always uh, on my map as a landmark. That's good. All right. Easy as you like. I think it's probably even time that I just kind of head back home. I've done a lot today already, and I want to do some more. Yeah, let's not push our luck. We've already had our run-ins today. Don't want to take anything for granted. So let's just head back north and go back home. Oh, that was the wasteland over there as well. I didn't even bloody realize. All right. Well, something to keep in mind. Well, it makes sense, actually. I was bobbling about and uh, bouncing off a bunch of, like, uh, iron scrap and stuff. So good to know that's where the wasteland is. Let's go home, lick our wounds, and let's call it a day. We're coming into town. This is my town. I can't see anything. It's dim and dark and foggy as shit. But, oh, there's Bobby Boy's palace just there. Not much of a palace, but that's what I'm going to call it. I just need to land just kind of like somewhere near my driveway. But let's be real, anywhere down there will do the job just fine. So nosedive a bit. Have no care in the world for both our and our dry health. Because we're fucking perfect at it anyway. It's full of gubs though. So real quickly go drop everything off in my derp, not my derp, my dumpo box. Up we go, up to there, in you go, and boom. Nice, stoked about finding that tier six um, arm armor as well. 
So it's not tomorrow. That's trade day. It's day 28, I think, is the next one. So the morning of Horde Nights. Give me all of you and take everything upstairs. So if I go do all my selling then, I should make quite a bit of coin, if I'm being honest. Like, spending the time just, like, getting a whole amalgamation of gubs together so when I do go to tradies, I make the most out of it is just smart cricket. Uh, you could just hang out in there as well. Nice. Okay. How's everything else looking? I had a lot of things on the go. You're empty. You've got that. I'll grab all of you. You actually need a fair... Wow. A lot of fuel, actually. In fact, that's ooh, almost back on the nipple. There you go. Have all of that. Get you crafting away. I'm sorry I left you to your own devices. That was silly by me. Yes, our mushrooms are done as well. So I'll harvest you up. I know I'm using the shetty, but I couldn't be bothered changing my hotbar around. Give me all of those. So that's 10 mushrooms, which is enough for two seeds. Or, because shit's a little bit dire, give me that. Give me some dollary doos. That one, I've got honey on me already, but there's another fat stack in here. Need the frothies and need the honey, because I need to make a bunch of awesome sauce. There's the fuel, awesome sauce, crank out. Only two? Why? Oh, because mushrooms. God, they're expensive on the mushies. Get that craft in the way then. Definitely worthwhile. It's a good investment having that in my back pocket just in case. So what resources do I have that I can make a stack of right now? I've got stone, I've got iron, and I've got wood. Which are kind of the three main factors, I suppose. But stack. Stack, stack, stack. So I can make a stack of coal, a stack of lead. It's like a nitrate powder. Like each of these, each time I do it the first time, gives me a shitload of experience. So I can do wood as well. Uh, these ones are like when you're crafting stuff. So that's less exciting. But all of these just take 6,000 a pop. I might even try. So maybe my goal should be for tomorrow. Maybe I should go through and have uh, 6,000 of each of these. I can pop a learning elixir. And it only takes 10 seconds to craft a stack. So you do that. Learning this gives me a fuckload of experience. And just like do all of that for like five minutes. And that will give me everything I need, really. So I'll put you guys back away. I might even grab... What's the time? It's very late. It's very late. But I do want to go at least get the wood done now. Because I can then pop my... um, What should we call it? My Rockbusters candy. Grab the auger out and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a vein of something. And grab all that I need. There is the night time. I'm not particularly scared. The shotgun will keep me safe. Whatever spawns out here, I'm ready for. I might still panic a little bit though. Turns out going out and trying to harvest all the trees in the world uh, is a rather tedious venture. I've been out here for an hour and a half now. And I've only got three and a half thousand wood on me. I get myself knackered by using my axe all the time. I don't have a, um, a chainsaw to use anyway. I just thought trees gave me more. It's like 150 to a... Fuck. 150 to 180 wood per tree. Uh, so it's not really uh, making me flush with pine. That's for sure. It's just taking a long time. And I'm impatient and I want it now. Why are you making me put in any work for the things that I want, game? You're supposed to just give it to me on a silver platter and have me be super ungrateful. That's the agreement we have. Look how empty this world is now. I've cut down so many bloody trees. I ended up at like 4,400, so... 1,500 still to go, which is a considerable amount of wood. Perhaps if I just find like a stack of 6,000 of the tradies next time, I'll just buy it and save myself all the hubbub because this sucks. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it to bloody tomorrow because I can't be bothered doing it now. It's taken way too long and there's other things that I wanted to do, like mainly feed myself and drink myself into a stupor. I do think... I do think the right call is to turn my roof where the garden is into my gyrocopter pad. Because then I can have another derpo box in the landing pad that I can fill up rather than having to run and do all the runaround I'm doing now. So 4,600 there. So I've got the stuff for some of them, but I need some more. Where is... Let's have a little look-see. So that looks like a nitrate node there. And that looks like a coal node there. So those are both doable. I'll go and get the auger out and the um the rock buses candy and carve up all of that that I can. I've got plenty of gas. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. What am I dealing with after that though? So they'll have coal done, iron done. I'll find a lead node as well. So you have to do coal, lead, and nitrate tomorrow. 
Oil shales in the desert where I don't know where it is right now. Stone's done and wood's done. So I'm a little bit behind the eight ball on a lot of that. I haven't found the winter biome, nor have I found shit, the desert biome. I guess I'll pick a direction and just kind of go. I need to model that stuff up. If I get all that done in one go, I'll make all the experience I need and never have to worry about it ever again. Because once it's done, it's done. And like making stacks after the first couple don't give you all that much experience. So it's definitely worthwhile doing it all under one learn elixir and just having it all done with. I think we're good. I think we're good. So we're ending the day. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, what? At 134,000, I think. Anything Josh can go through and actually count that properly because I am a bit flustered and a bit done and a bit goopy brained. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. So tomorrow, I'll go and try and get those resources together to get all the experience. And the day after that is Horde Day and also Tradey Restock Day, which means it's Tradey Selling Day. It's going to make all these things weep money like we're milking a bloody rock for blood. This is going to be good. This is going to be good, but I'll have to come back and do all those good things in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the Patreon, the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you guys like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.